Hey guys, quick back Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about mismatch repair. During DNA replication, the DNA polymerase might add wrong base during elongation. The wrongly added base usually results in mismatch nucleotide. Because of the presence of mismatch, the DNA strands gets distorted. And the DNA repair mechanism by which mismatch nucleotides are removed is called mismatch repair. Let's see the mechanism of mismatch repair in detail. The proteins involved in mismatch repair are mute S, mute L, and mute H. A simple mnemonics to remember these proteins is mute S for shoes, mute L for lamp, and mute H for helicopter. The protein that recognizes mismatch nucleotides in the DNA is mute S. Mute S is also known as mismatch recognition protein. The mute S protein functions as a dimer and identifies the mismatch in the DNA. In the next step, mute L dimer binds mute S protein. Next, mute H protein binds mute S mute L complex. Now let's take a pause and try to recall a one very important point of DNA replication. It should be noted that the parent strand is methylated whereas the newly replicated daughter strand is not methylated. Usually, adenine at GATC sequence in the parent strand is methylated. This overall structure is called hemimethylated DNA, that is, one strand is methylated, whereas one is not. The enzymes involved in mismatch repair can recognize the methylated and unmethylated strands. This means they can actually recognize the parent and the daughter strand. Now let's come back to mismatch repair mechanism. The mute H protein acts as a type 2 endonuclease. Once bound, the endonuclease activity is activated by mute L. The mute H searches for the nearest GATC sequence with methylated adenine. During this search, the DNA is usually looped out. Once the GATC sequence is identified, the mute H protein cleaves at the daughter strand. In the next step, UVRD, which is also known as helicase 2, unwinds the cleaved strand. The unwinded strand is usually removed and cleaved by exonuclease enzyme. Next, DNA polymerase 3 replicates the DNA and adds correct nucleotides. Finally, the gap is sealed by the formation of phosphodiester bond by DNA ligase.